All right, so we've been talking about how Roman numerals and figures work, they're different symbols. Because there are all these numbers that come up, we've got Roman numerals to represent chords, so there's a one chord. Here's a scale degree one. This is a, a chord member, this is a, the number three, but that's the chord member. Some people use the word factor, I'm gonna use the word chord. So if I say the chordal third, which is what I mean by that CH, chordal, the chordal third, that means I want the third above the root. And we got other intervals, these Arabic numerals, the figures, six, five. There's so many that we're gonna have to keep track of what each of these is. So again, I'm gonna say figures, six and five, meaning intervals above the base. If we talk about scale degree, three, then we mean an interval from the tonic. If we talk about a chordal third, we mean a third in terms of an interval from the root. So there are these different numbers and we need to keep very close tabs on exactly what we mean. Now, at the beginning I mentioned that figures predate Roman numerals, that they're separate, that they've only come together as a single thing. So we'll tend to write this. Only recently. So one six, that that's a fairly recent phenomenon. The, uh, the idea of Roman numeral comes in later. This, the figure, is something that goes way back. Even it goes back into the Renaissance a little bit. So that's an old kind of idea, the figures. And it was just figured base. When did this idea of Roman numerals come in? Well, that was with this this big treatise, Theory of Musical Composition, from Gottfried Weber. He wrote in 1821, here's his picture here. He's the first one that said, let's come up with a, a way to symbolize what the chord is and position it in the, in the key. And that's where we got Roman numerals. So that, you know, introduced then, but only gradually did that idea come to be accepted by a lot of people. So really, this idea of the, the Roman numeral is, is pretty recent and the combination of the Roman numeral and the figure is really recent. Therefore, it's good to know what did figures really mean in the, in the original sense of the word figure, and that's what we've covered in part today.